Others singled out Courtney for being the cause of his suicide, or for not trying to stop him, or even for not caring. The grieving young widow had just lost her husband. Her only child had just lost her father in a grisly, horrifying event. But people were looking for a target, and Courtney Love was a larger-than-life bullseye. Bob Guccione, Jr. Well, I think it's just purely unfair. I think what happens is fans believe that their icon belongs to them. And when the icon is gone, it's been taken away from them. It becomes very personal. And they, they look for someone to blame. Now, who took Kurt from me? I was enjoying that. And uh, Courtney was a target. We expected Courtney Love to grieve in public and then criticized her for grieving in public. We didn't let her grieve privately. This woman never had a chance to go away and grieve. She never had a chance to manifest that grief in the way she chose. How many funerals have you or I been to where someone's been cheerful at the funeral? And so I, I think she gets a very raw deal. You know, she, she, she couldn't win anyway. If she played the, the, the Jackie O role at John Kennedy's funeral, well, we'd have said, oh, she's posing, or oh, you know, she's artificial, or she's just the widow. And she went out and was a little outrageous and wanted to get on with her life, and so we criticized her for that. It was a no-win situation.